What's up everyone? So today we're gonna talk about Starlink and we're also gonna talk about skin in the game, okay? That's a good Nassim Taleb buzzword. Here's the deal folks. So last week I put up a video about oh how I'm gonna get internet out in you know where I live very remotely which involves using a 4G network and some equipment. It's not really important here but I was asking for recommendations from people who had done something similar. Um, now I got many good recommendations but importantly uh, I got a bunch of recommendations from people who had not had such experience, and uh, a lot of them recommended the same thing. This thing called Starlink, or as we call it here, Soylink. But, so what is Starlink if you don't know? I had actually never heard about this till people, like literally hundreds of people either emailed me or commented about this thing. Starlink is this speculative technology project. It's an Elon Musk project, okay? And he is sending up all of these satellites into the sky, and it's supposed to be satellite internet, okay? Now, first off, satellite internet already exists. I'll go ahead and tell you it's terrible. Um, now, maybe the technology they're using is somehow different or supposed to be better. It makes big promises about what it's supposed to be, and maybe they're going to come true. Now, here's my problem, though, okay? Now, I have nothing against Starlink. It's, it's probably, maybe if it works out, it works out fine, okay? That's fantastic. Maybe in a year's time, I'll actually be using it. You never know. So this is not a video about Starlink. What I'm more concerned about is the fact that there are literally, like the viral marketing campaign in that there are literally hundreds of people who have had quite literally no experience with Starlink whatsoever other than reading about it on Reddit. And they are basically marketing this product that they have never used. And I know, I know they haven't used it. First off, it's only available, it's not available where I am. You have to be very high in latitudes in North America to get it, okay? Uh, and it costs, you know, maybe a down payment or so of 500 bucks and 100 bucks a month. Now, if that actually worked, and it worked at the speeds that they were talking about, that'd be great. But here's my issue. None of the people recommending this project uh, have used it. There are, there are one or two people out there uh, online who have, you know, like do videos or have posted other stuff about using this product. But I guarantee you that it is not something that mo all these people shilling it that heard about it on Reddit or something like that, they have never used it. Now that upsets me. That, that's a lack of skin in the game. I, I think it's totally wrong to recommend something, uh, especially when it's costly to someone else, when you don't know what you're talking about. You, and when I say know what you're talking about, I don't mean, oh, I read it on the internet, so it's going to be real. But having direct experience with that stuff. That's why when I asked about internet, I specifically said, if you have done this, could you tell me what you did? Because that's what I'm interested in. Okay? Now why do I say this? Now again, it might be that Starlink is going to be great. Okay? Maybe. I'm not saying it's not. What I am saying is I'm not going to recommend a product before I have, I have direct knowledge and direct exposure to how it's been used. Now there's one time I can think of in my past on my YouTube channel where I did not do this and I regret, I, I, I feel guilty about this. I, I want to say in the first year of me having a YouTube channel, I did a video on this thing. It's a, it was another speculative technology project. And you have to understand, there are millions of these speculative technology projects all over the place, all the time. And most of them are gonna end up Ponzi schemes or scams, okay? Or they're just not gonna, they're gonna be big flops, all right? Uh, but one of these uh, products that I recommended in a video is this thing called the EOMA. You guys might remember it if you've been at my channel for a long time. It was this uh, little computer card, minimal computer card. You could fit it into different, you could fit it into a laptop casing, you could fit it into a desktop casing. The laptop ca casing could be like 3D printed. It was all open hardware, free software. It was, everything on paper was fantastic. Something you could keep in your pocket, right? You could plug it into a, like a public terminal and it would still have all your stuff on it. It's a very interesting idea. And I did a video on this about how great, how great the product was, how, how great the idea. Now I wasn't getting paid for this or anything, but I just thought it was a good idea. Uh, so I, I did a video on it. Now, and, and after that video, I did put money down to get like a prototype. They were, you know, trying to make up prototypes in China and ship them out to people, okay? Sort of the same state that, that uh, um, what's it called? Sky, Skylink or whatever. Skylink, is that what it's called? Whatever, who cares? Soylink. Um, sort of the same kind of, you know, state of development as uh, Soylink is, okay? Um, now, the issue with that is after a month, they, they were supposed to ship out in a month. I didn't get anything. They, they put out updates, oh, we got to delay it another month, then another month, then another month. And I want to say around a year and a half went by, and I never got anything. And no one else got anything, because they kept running into problems, they kept, you know, underestimating how long it would take, or things they'd have to do. Or, I don't know, I, they were just sitting on my money, that's all I know. 
So eventually I asked for my money back because they were, again, if, if they had originally said, oh, oh, maybe in three years we might have it. Uh, but that's not what they said. They said, we'll be shipping it out next month, which obviously didn't happen. Now, it'd be one thing if that were my own money. But the other issue is I had made a public recommendation that I, I'm worried that other people, you know, took for serious. And I did not have direct exposure to this. And there, it might be that there are other people, maybe still even waiting, haven't asked for their money back, who haven't gotten this thing. Or maybe it actually ended up working. I, I have no idea. But, it, you know, it's not an issue now. Um, so that's one of these things I sort of feel guilty about. I mean, another, another thing, um, you know, that's why you shouldn't read things on Reddit and, like, get excited about the ideas and uh, then tell people about them when you don't know about them. You've, the fact is you just don't know. Uh, there are a million things, especially, especially when you're literally launching satellites into space, there are a million things that could go wrong. There are a million, like, government regulations that might end up interfering. There are a million of, a million, you know, just things... Things you, you don't even know that you don't know, okay? So that, that's sort of the issue. I mean, another thing, around five years or so ago, uh, Zoomers might not remember this. This is probably before your time, but uh, uh, millennial, millennials, you'll remember. Uh, 30-year-old boomers, you might remember. Um, there's this thing, uh, another speculative technology project that was solar roadways. Wow, remember that? That was big cringe. Solar freaking roadways. They had, like, this video, uh, and it was all about, let's just, dude, let's put solar panels like have solar panels as a road let's just drive on our solar panels that would be so cool infinite energy dude and it's like why don't, why don't you just put the solar panels next to the road so they don't like get constantly filthed up by all the like tons of equipment driving on i don't know but uh you know it's supposed to, oh we can make them light up it's, it's like tron dude it, it was like the most soy th it was way before well i would almost say before the soy boy archetype but it was basically a uh soy reddit project kind of thing um, and a lot of, like, for a couple months, people were, like, fanatical about this kind of stuff. Oh, I can't wait for this. Is, this is the future. And, of course, it fizzled out. It was just a big, you know, scam video to make promotional money for this company. And it didn't end up working out. And even if Starlink is a, uh, uh, you know, a legitimate... I mean, the thing about Elon Musk businesses is, like, they're mostly just getting money from the government. Like, Tesla, like, they just get money from the government. Like, that's, that's his entrepreneurship. It's not real, you know, entrepreneurship. So I'm... Always going to be, I mean, I don't know anything about this Elon Musk guy, except for I know there's like a cult of personality about him. So a bunch of Redditors just like like the things he does. And I know he just gets a bunch of money from the government. That That's, and if that's how you're making money, I'm just, I, I don't have that much faith in it. Maybe Starlink will take off. Again, I'm not saying if it works, uh, I might be using that in a year. You know, you never know. Um, but uh, I just find this idea of people recommending stuff they don't they don't use they have no exposure to like imagine doing that kind of viral marketing for anyone else i know it's oh it's elon musk so it's like a meme oh i can tell my friend oh wow soy link is so fantastic um but like imagine if like uh wells fargo or some kind of bank put out like some new uh sk like new insure like uh, interest payment system or it's novel in some way imagine shilling for that if you would never like experienced it before or imagine if like uh exxon Mobil put out some new way to like get gas more quickly around the world okay would you shill for that like would you really like maybe it'll work out maybe it won't but the fact that there are literally people on the internet who are excited uh i mean not just excited in the abstract but like marketing this thing they have only read on paper it's just one of those things like you can't give recommendations about something unless you have skin in the game unless you're in a position to lose something and, uh, you know, that actually reminds me, there's a, I'm not going to mention his name, okay? There's a guy, there's a guy, I'm not, I, I'm not going to say anything specific. I, I haven't heard that much from this guy in a while. But uh, I remember a couple of years ago, he used to do, every, every single one of his videos were, had like a, a promotion inside of it. Not just ads, uh, not just like YouTube ads, but like a promotion where he's like, I'm going to add, I'm going to shill this project, uh, product. And he shilled this particular kind of computer. And uh, he was just known for shilling that in every video. And as it ended up, he actually never got one of those computers. They didn't even send him a free sample. Sad. Uh, so he was just pretending to like these computers. He's like, wow, when I buy one, which one am I going to get? It's just pathetic, man. Why would you do that? Like, why? I mean, in that case, I guess he's getting paid or something. But especially if you're doing it for free, like, don't, don't do that. Like, there's so many other projects that you could get excited about and might be legit. Um... So, yeah, it's dumb. D don't do that. Don't talk about things unless you have direct experience about it. Otherwise, we'd be in the world where, like, people still... I mean, remember back in the day where, like, Linux YouTube was just, like, randomly installing some distribution that you've only used for 20 seconds and then making, like, earth-shattering generalizations about that? Remember that? Like, five years ago, back before 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that that's stupid. No one cares. You might think that that's a good idea, but it ain't. It just ain't. So anyway, see you guys next time.